Hi, everyone. Stock Mo here. We had a glorious day yesterday, and we're going to talk a little bit more about what I expect for the NEO stock price. This thing has been doing very well, and I have a feeling we're probably going to hit 20 by the end of this week. I think we can finish with a strong uh, few days here, and we'll see where it goes, but we're going to talk a little bit more about that and the market in general. Now, before we do, we got some big news out there. If you have not taken advantage of this right now, Biggest deal I've ever seen so far. I have a feeling we could see something bigger out there. But right now, we got Weeble giving you six free shares of stock for depositing one cent. And this could be worth up to $12,600 if the random number generator is on your side. But remember this, you get six free shares no matter what. And it goes for anybody in the household who's 18 or older. Use my link down below. Sign up. Put a penny in. Get the other people in the house that are 18 or older to do it. You all get six free shares. You got four of you, get 24 free shares of stock, and you got a good chance of getting some big ones. So take advantage of that. And of course, Moomoo Moo get up the you get up to six as well. And if you deposit a hundred or more, you can get a hundred dollar. Uh, I should say deposit a hundred dollars more, you will get a free share of Lucid, but you got to use my link for that and hit the other deposit levels. Now let's start with BO. We'll start with the chart this time, then we'll get into the talking here. As you can see, you uh, 3.71. This is for those who don't know. I have a Patreon over there. That link's down below. Come over and join me. I have my portfolios, but I also have a few uh, YouTube-only things, and this is one of them. We're putting $100 in forever. Ain't, as long as I'm on YouTube, we're going to put $100 into VOO. I'm going to show you dollar cost averaging over the long run. I'm going to update it. I'm not going to go away like some other people out there. I'm going to show you all the time all the time you're going to be able to watch this how much money i make or lose right now is remember this is one of the worst times in history when it comes to the markets and look we're only down three percent and i've been investing every week since the beginning of the year and that's when it started to collapse all right 3.71 and we know the conservatives my goal is to beat that we're only down 3.84 so i'm a little a little behind not much i expect to actually catch them the aggressive 26.57, <clears throat> unless this market turns green, which I think we're going to have more of a run here. And that's what we're going to talk about. Uh, this is, you know, it could take some time. You're starting to see a few weeks of green here, uh, but not enough. We'll see if we can do it. And 32% down into YouTube. I've been buying Ethereum nonstop. I'm going to continue to buy Ethereum also. I actually am probably going to up the buying amount, but I will continue to do $100 a week here. But I, over at the other portfolio, like I said, the Patreon only, come over and check it out. I can show you what I'm going to be doing. Now, as we move into some of the information, take a look at this. Dow Jones, S&P 500, NASDAQ, Russell, all green like yesterday. But look, hardly any movement from the growth stocks. DraftKings, Lucid, down. Tesla, barely up. SoFi, even. Neo was the only one that had a semi-decent day. And it was up 2.56%. Actually, we thought it would have been up a lot more. Uh, but it wasn't. And so we can check out the pre-markets right now. At the time of making this video, they're all red. Everything's red. And yet here I am telling you, I believe that, that we're going to see NEO start running up even more. I believe, and we're going to talk about this in a second, uh, I believe we're going to see some good things happening. Now, you can take a look at the crude oil right here, and you can see uh, 119 and 120. It's still, I go by the WTI. We're a little off 120, but it's right up there. So I believe some of the stocks I'm in should continue to do well. Now we look at NEO in the pre-market, 19.62 at the time of filming. And we'll see how it does once we get to opening. But I have a feeling that NEO this week will hit $20 a share. Take a look at the growth it's been doing. It's been running pretty quick. We haven't gotten up to 20 yet, 1968 and then 1965. And uh, this could be the week. I think this could be the week, if not this week, next week for sure, that we will close above $20 or at least say, let's just say we'll hit $20. And then we'll see where we go from there. Uh, the month, if you've been in it with me back when it dropped down to 12, look at this. You're up 54.6%. That is for those who stomached it and said, I'm not giving up, you know, I'm uh, going to continue to buy. We've been buying on it and uh, we got a substantial amount. Somebody asked me in the comments, you know, what's the price you're looking for? I got to tell you, if I get a NEO, I think 22, I'll be feeling very, very good. I bought a ton. I've been dollar cost averaging down. 22 is a good price point for me to feel good. And a lot of the stress is gone, especially when it was down at $12. You know, now we get up to 22 again and we're going to be looking at some good numbers. Now, it might be 
I expect to get there maybe in two months because that's another two, almost, you know, 15% higher than we are right now. But I do expect to get there. I'm not going to be surprised if we get there in two weeks, but I do believe it could be a couple of months. Now, with that being said, the price targets out of Wall Street, 4109 and this is for neo and this is over the next 12 months that is a hundred and nine percent upside potential now lucid what's going on with lucid because for those following me you know we got into this we actually sold a good chunk of it at the end of the year when it rolled uh, rode up i got rid of my original investment i should say i sold that kept a ton in that was profit because it ran look at this look at this run up oh my god 210 percent. at that time we were taking profits and so we did, and now it dropped back down. I told you if it ever dropped back down to a level that I thought was a steal, I could tell you this level, I do believe it's a steal for the long run, and we'll see where it goes. And you know they got the Saudi government behind them, and we'll find out, but I think it's gonna be some opportunities there. Charge point as well, and we'll take a look at charge point. And for those who've been following along, I bought this last week again for the portfolio. 22.75 percent up in the last five days Un incredible last month 46 percent. very similar very similar look at this at the low you're looking at uh 73 percent up for those who have not given up on charge point but you've been buying through there helps that dollar cost averaging and of course the nasdaq people have been asking about the nasdaq i'm showing you these stocks because people always, well, hey why do you show them because i still think they're good i think they're going to be the leaders in their sectors I think uh, ChargePoint will do well. Neo is going to do well. I think even Loose is going to surprise a lot of people as we move forward. We still got a lot of negative variables out there that we're dealing with, but I think we will get through them. And once we do, it's giddy up. It's time to make the cash, and we're going to make that dash. And we're going to see how it goes, okay? Now, remember, oh, I wanted to show you the NASDAQ. Over the last five days, from the close yesterday, we'd be down 0.41. Over the last month, we're up 4.75, and I actually expect to end the week above, uh, I'd say another, hopefully another 1% to 2% up from where we are here, but we'll find out. All right, Synovus Energy, for those who have been following along, you know, last month we made 32%. There's no guarantees it's going to go higher, but some people ask me, what's my exit strategy here? I did some research, and you can see Chevron as well, 13% up this month. And of course, ERX, which is the leverage up 45% this month, we're, we're making a killing. We're making a killing with these oil and energy plays. I'm going to hold on to them for the most likely. I'm holding on to these till the end of this year and we'll reevaluate at that time. And just like the tax losses, I also watch some of these stocks, especially the leverage ones. The, what I'd probably do is get out of the leverage, take the profit and start rotating to whatever sectors seem to be the best. Now, at this time, I still think it's that. Now, here's the thing. Back in 2007 to 2009, we had the Great Recession. And I will tell you, energy spiked. Very similar to what you're seeing now. Different circumstances, but very similar. What happened? It spiked to 150 a barrel. One of the reasons we start looking at history, I look at some of the things going on with Russia, supplies, all this. That's why I think we're going to hit a minimum 150 again, up to 250. I don't think we're going to get up to 250, but... Definitely, I think we're going to hit 150, maybe a little bit above that. And at that time, I'll start considering some moves, taking some profits if I think the price has spiked too much, because I actually think they're going to go a little higher than we are right now. Also, back in 2007, 2009, pay attention to history. You're doomed to repeat it. After that run up, prices collapsed. Oil prices dropped dramatically because we went into a recession, the Great Recession. This is different this time. I think it would be mild. But energy also is in a different situation. Doesn't mean it won't collapse. So I'll definitely be watching. Curling stop losses maybe. I don't know. But we're definitely going to be doing some ways to make sure we don't give it all back. We want to lock up some. Maybe we shorten our positions. Maybe we rotate into some of the techs that gotten beat up during this sell-off now that we're going to be able to get them cheaper. I'm not sure. But that's one of the routes I'm looking at to try to take advantage of these prices of these gains and of course for those following over at the patreon you know i got some other energy plays in there as well and uh we'll find out how it goes right now i'm, I'm watching neo neo is quickly uh, I, I i would argue it's back up there the number one spot because of the gains it's made over the last week or two it's just ridiculous i'm gonna have to check it out i'll have to let you know right now i'm down in studio c down at the 
the new place down here and Studio B is still there. I'm back and forth now and uh, I'm working on Studio C. I got to get a bunch of stuff to decorate it, get it set up. But it's the same equipment I have to actually drag some of the equipment down until I get replacement equipment. It's a headache. Now, I do. I do have the Shelby GT500 out, the 2020 I have. And I finally got it inspected, got it ready to go. And so what we're going to do now is I'm going to film. I know a lot of people said, hey, film in there, you know, film around it. So I'm going to do that for you really, really soon. As soon as we get a nice day where I'm at. Um, I'm, over here, I'm over here at the coast now, and we're going to go from there. And I think it's supposed to be a little cloudy and rainy tomorrow, so we'll find a day this week to do that for you. Now, if you haven't done it, let me know what stock you think is going to be your best one in your portfolio for the rest of this year. Put it down below in the comments. I think NEO is going to be mine or uh, Synovus Energy. I still believe they're going to be my two go-tos. And I think the Chinese government is going to help and push those Chinese companies especially like neo up higher and higher and that's what i'm kind of excited about that they're getting that stimulus from the government that we got back in 2020 for the u.s growth stocks in 2021 early now they're getting it over there now so i think some of these stocks are going to absolutely explode over there and i'm kind of excited and i'm looking to rotate but the uh, you know there's always risk when you invest in overseas security so we got to watch ourselves all right. If you haven't done it, take advantage of the Weevil link down below. Get yourself up to six free stocks right now. All you got to do is deposit a penny and you get a guaranteed six free stocks. And you got to use the link down below. And of course, if uh, get anybody else, you know, 18 or older to come over, get those six free stocks. You all get these chances of up to 12, 12 grand and 600 worth of stocks. Of course, I got the moon link. You get six free stocks there as well. Hit the deposit levels. If you deposit 100 or more, you get a guaranteed free share of Lucid. And of course, come on over to the Patreon. Join me over there. we got some good things. And of course, if I haven't mentioned it in a while, but I got Gemini down below. You get $7 of free Ethereum just for signing up using the link. I appreciate you stopping by. Now let's get out there and make some money.